Okay, Atari, let's see your best pitch. In the late 70s, when game developers were creating titles for the 2600, Atari did not want designers crediting themselves in their own video games. Yet, sometime after the release of Adventure in 1979, Adam Clayton, a 15-year-old from Salt Lake City, discovered that Warren Robinette had done just that, and locked his name away within a secret room. Atari were notified of this, and someone called the revelation an Easter egg, helping to popularise the term we use today. This Easter egg is a homage to a game which is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. And for some time, it was regarded as the first ever Easter egg. Though over the last decade, even earlier secrets have been discovered, as Brad Rees self's name was found in Video Whizball for the Fairchild Channel F console dated 1978. RT-55J over on selectbutton.net discovered that Michael Glass's name had been hidden in Spitfire and could be unlocked after pumping in this lengthy 48-digit code. Michael KT's name was hidden in the console's first demo cartridge from 1977, and in 2017, Ed Fries discovered a secret message reading Hi Ron in the 1977 arcade machine Starship One, which is currently the earliest known arcade Easter egg. But while we respect and continuously talk about these discoveries, there is one secret that deserves so much more praise and recognition, the very first Easter egg. Brought to my attention after YouTuber Critical Kate made a documentary and an article about it in early 2021. But no one else has. Why? As it is absolutely brilliant, funny, and has quickly become one of my favourite Easter eggs of all time. And it's a secret that takes us all the way back to 1973, as early that year Jack Burness developed the video game Moonlander in just 10 days for the Digital Equipment Corporation and their GT40 Vector Graphic Terminal which came with a light pen accessory. Jack's game was heavily inspired with his recent attendance to the launch of the Apollo 17 mission, as we had the job to land the lunar module on a barren and harsh wasteland, which is actually pretty difficult to achieve as you have to master using the thruster to slow you down and gently adjusting the rotation as you descend to the surface, which you will more than likely just plunge into the side of a mountain on your first go or kill everyone aboard by going too fast. But if you can successfully land, then unbelievably you are provided with a cutscene of an astronaut walking out onto the lunar surface and planting a flag. Then after many hours of practice, you might actually be able to explore this hostile place with some skill, as below the overworld map there are many screens to search and land upon, but one of them just so happens to feature the golden arches of McDonald's. Yeah, there's a McDonald's on the moon, and Jack went and created two easter eggs for it, as one, if you crash into it and destroy the McDonald's building, then you will receive this message. What a clod. But if you manage to land either side of Mackie D's, then your character will exit the Moonlander, walk up to McDonald's and order two f cheeseburgers and a Big Mac to go. Then promptly head back to the Moonlander where you can take off and leave. And this all happened in 1973 and 50 years ago this year. Well, if you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more videos like this in the future, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, then I'm currently posting on TikTok and Instagram. And until next time, I will see you soon.